Hi. Today I'm loading some uh, 22 Hornet that I haven't loaded for for quite some time. I realized all I had left was a couple factory boxes left. So I do have a bunch of brass for it. 22 Hornet, it's a little weird to load. Um, if you don't know what the cartridge is, that's what it is. It's like a little bottleneck cartridge. It's real s slight slope. See it there? It's about what it is. Um, and you will notice that the bullet is set in there really deep. See that? And uh, here's the bullets. They're 45 grain. 45 grain, 224, flat base. It is uh, a little tough to load, but nothing you can't handle. It's a good cartridge, maybe out to about, I don't know, 130 yards. It hits real hard on a uh, small game and things like that. So uh, I'll show you how I load a couple. Uh, we got it all set up on the Lee Classic Turret Press. Uh, the dies on this thing are uh, sizing, full length sizing die, or CBS. Uh, a universal Lee Belling die, or case expander die, whatever. Uh, RCBS uh, seating die, uh, but the, not to the crimp just seat in the bullet because uh, here's something you don't see all the time a 22 Hornet uh, Lee factory crimp die for this uh, which I'm uh, glad glad I got it because I used to have to stop seat all the bullets and go back and crimp them but uh, here we go well, I'll load one up I'll show you what you do and I'll explain a couple things you'll see that the uh, the capping pin is real low, sticking way far down here. It's because when I do this and I size, size these, I run it up, I run the cartridge all the way up, decap it and everything, and then I run this down to it bottoms out in the bottom of the case. Then I turn it back just to turn because this section of the shell... If it's up in there too far, it'll pinch out in that expander section on that decapping pin. will actually break the top of this off of here. Now this is a reloaded round. You'll see that there's a line going around there. That is because when you buy factory loaded, oh here I'll show you one, a factory loaded a 22 Hornet, they look like this. It look just like that. See how the case has that indentation on it where the bottom of the bullet sits down in there. But when you get, uh, you just buy new brass. Here's new brass. Here, I'll get one out of there. You buy new brass, it doesn't have it on there. So, but the... When you reload factory ammo, you have a tendency to break that uh, head off of there. That's why you got to watch where you have that expander on your decapping pin. So uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll load one. So you use a little sizing wax uh, on these. They're steel. That's a steel die. There's no carbide in that thing. But see, when you run it up in there, you will decap real quick. It's decapped already. Now we're up in there sizing. So we're sized up in there. And then the primers we're going to use are uh, CCI, Small Rifle Bench Rest Primers. Uh, this is my uh, using up my old stock. I have a lot of old stock that I always overlook. So I'm going to use these primers. You put them in there, prime the case. Primer's in there nice. 
they have a tendency to bulge if you don't say them good enough in these uh, cases. Now we're going to bell the case with the Lee Universal Case Beller. And then that just makes it so the bullet sits in there a little better. Yeah, just enough to get her going in there. So now we're going to put Potter. Um, it's another using up. Here's my last of this little can, 2400, that I always overlook. And I went to the back of the shelf and got this. So the ones with the ram on them are going to have to wait till these ones are gone. But we're looking for uh, nine grains of uh, 2400. Get that in there. Oh, went over a touch, but that's okay. We'll get that out of there. Close enough. Nine is right on, right? Okay, we're going to charge this case. That in there. Back in there. Oh, this here that's a screw on nozzle from a caulking tube works good one I didn't use I want to put the bullet on there so we'll lower this down push this handle forward light lightly so it kind of locks that in place so you can get that bullet seated nice on there and straight take it up in there Get that thing set, and we're looking for uh, 1723 on this here, and we are 1721, which is 1723 is the max, so we're definitely good. So we'll throw that back in there, go up in there and crimp that thing. See what we got. There you go. Crimped and everything. Looks pretty good. Yeah, they're a little bit of a trouble to make, but they're uh, it's well worth it. Considering I don't even know what 22 Hornet costs. I haven't bought it since these ones. And there's no price on there. These are full patch too, these ones here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's load another one real quick. I hate dealing with mini primers. There we go. Bell this thing. The potter. Back in here. Rip it. There you go. Well, that's my loading 22 Hornet. Thanks for watching the video.